What's the most giant animal you've ever seen in real life? An elephant, maybe? A giraffe? Perhaps you've seen a blue whale. They're all pretty huge, but amazingly, these aren't the most giant animals to have ever existed, they're not even the biggest of their kind. So, let's know now and look at the most giant animals that have ever walked the earth and what they could do. Arthropleura For most people, seeing a millipede crawling along the floor is enough to send chills down their spine. And if you're one of those people, you better thank God you weren't around 300 million years ago. During the Carboniferous period, a critter known as the Arthropleura lived on our planet. This enormous creature goes down as the largest ever terrestrial arthropod. How large? Well, based on fossils found in Northumberland, England, it's assumed these animals could grow to about 8.2 feet long. That's over 2 feet longer than your average human. Do you want to know something that makes them worse? When threatened, it's been suggested that these big bugs could lift their upper body, like a cobra. However, paleontologists haven't been able to confirm this from fossil findings alone. Can you imagine this thing rearing up and towering over you? On top of that, the Arthropleura's fossil indicates that it had a body mass of 110 pounds. That makes it about the same weight as an average 14-year-old human child. For reference, the largest terrestrial arthropod alive today is the coconut crab. While these guys look horrifyingly huge in their own right, they're just 40% as long and less than 10% as heavy as the Arthropleura. The question is, what caused these massive millipedes to get so big? During the Carboniferous period, oxygen levels in the atmosphere were greater than 30%, around 10% higher than the levels today. Thanks to the elevated oxygen, arthropods, which take on oxygen far less efficiently than mammals, could bulk up more than they'd be able to nowadays. I think I speak for all of us when I say, thank God for the drop in oxygen. Epic Yon Hayden-y. While arthropods aren't exactly cute, the same can't be said for dogs. They're man's best friend, no matter their shape or size, although I'm not sure this one counts, you're looking at the epic Jan Hayden-y. This prehistoric canine lived between 12 and 6 million years ago during the late Miocene period. These guys go down as the largest canines ever to exist. They were about the size of a grizzly bear, standing a horrifying 3 to 4 feet at the shoulder and up to 8 feet long, this was the largest canid ever known. Epic Jan Hayden -y were also pretty bulky, usually weighing around 250 pounds, which is around the equivalent weight of 70 chihuahuas. One specimen on the bulkier side even exceeded that, with the humerus from one fossil specimen indicating it must have been at least 370 pounds. Incredibly, that also puts it at the weight of a small grizzly bear. But size wasn't the only thing these chunky canines shared with bears. They belong to the Borophagini subfamily of canines, which translates to bone-crushing dogs. Unsurprisingly, Epic Jan Hayden had mighty jaws, robust molars, and incisive canines to take down anything that crossed its path. Fossils of their giant teeth and mandibles, some six inches long, reveal they were specialized to a hypercarnivorous, bone-crushing diet, like hyenas, which, curiously, are not canids. If these guys were still kicking about, they'd make the best guard dogs ever. I'm not sure how comfortable I'd be with a bear-sized doggo in my house. More relaxed than having 70 chihuahuas, I reckon. What would you prefer? Bear dog or 70 rats, I mean, sorry, chihuahuas. For four bear dogs, hit that like button. For many chihuahuas, hit subscribe. What massive animals have we got next? Elephant bird. Much like canines. Birds also come in all shapes and sizes. From teeny tiny to a quarter inch bee hummingbirds to gigantic ostriches stretching up to 9 feet tall and weighing in at up to 300 pounds. But while ostriches may top the scale for the most giant living bird, they're no match for one type of extinct feathered fowl. Known aptly as elephant birds, these flightless giants strutted around the islands of Madagascar until they died out around 1,000 years ago. And they weren't just big. For perspective, this is one of their eggs. These are the largest bird eggs ever found. Each was over 12 inches long and weighed up to a back-breaking 22 pounds with a volume 150 times greater than a chicken's egg. In modern times, 
ostriches lay the largest eggs of any bird, yet they're only a seventh of the weight and half the height of the eggs of an elephant bird. But enough egg talk. How big were the birds themselves? DNA from skeletal remains indicate that these flightless giants stood 10 feet tall, roughly a foot taller than the average ostrich. Okay, that's a little bigger, I guess, but with the largest bird of the species Epiornis maximus, clocking in at an ungodly 1,100 pound mass, they were four times heavier than ostriches. All that's left for me to say is that they are some exceptionally enormous birds. Parapuzosia sepinardensis For our next colossal critter, we've got to dive down into the depths of the ocean. Here, you'll find cephalopods, including marine mollusks like squid, octopus, and cuttlefish. The title of the longest cephalopod alive today goes to the giant squid, I mean, the clues in the name. In some cases, they grow to over 42 feet. Most of this length is in its tentacles, with the body span closer to 8 feet. Length isn't the only sizable thing about these squids, they've also got the largest eyes in the animal kingdom. At up to 10 inches in diameter, their peepers are about the same size as a human's head. Measuring 33 feet long, colossal squid is, ironically, slightly shorter than their giant cousins. Despite that, their chunkier body backslash makes them the heaviest living cephalopod, weighing in at a hefty 1,100 pounds, close to double that of a large giant squid. Surprising as it may seem, neither the colossal nor giant squid are the world's biggest cephalopod. Instead, that accolade goes to the Parapuzosia sepinardensis. During the late Cretaceous period, these ammonites, or shelled cephalopods, lived way back between 166 million years ago. The largest fossil shell of this astonishing ammonite was close to 6 feet in diameter. However, this was an incomplete specimen, with estimates that a whole shell had an 11-foot wide diameter, meaning based just on their shells alone, these chunky cephalopods would dwarf us humans. Even more impressively, the Parapuzosia sepinardensis shell alone may have weighed over 1,500 pounds. That's almost a third more than the colossal squid, and that's just this thing's shell. The total weight of these beasts may have exceeded 3,200 pounds or 1.6 tons. But how come they got so big? Well, one study assessed historical ammonite finds. It argued that pressures from predators at the time forced these ammonites to evolve to be bigger and, therefore, harder to hunt though their findings were inconclusive. Well, it's a miracle these giants didn't just sink to the seafloor. Titanoboa Studies into phobias have loosely established that around half of all adults feel anxious about snakes, with 2-3% meeting the criteria of a snake phobia. And, to be fair, who can blame them when there are serpents like the 30-foot-long and 550-pound green anaconda out there? However, things could be much worse for those who get the snake shakes. You see, around 60 million years ago, during the Paleocene period, the world was home to the biggest species of snake ever discovered, the Titanoboa. From the name, I bet you're thinking of a snake that can rear itself above the tree line or take up the width of an entire road, and you're not far off. Based on fossils of gigantic vertebrae discovered in Colombia, which you can see compared to a regular anaconda vertebra, archaeologists believe these sizable serpents could grow to a hair-raising 42 feet, over seven times the length of an average human, and if it reared up just half of its body, it would tower of you at the height of a two-story building. Titanoboa is also estimated to have weighed up to 2,540 pounds, as heavy as a small car, and almost five times as heavy as a green anaconda. The good news? They weren't venomous. The bad news? They were constrictors. That's right, these 42-foot-long beasts got their meals by coiling around, crushing and asphyxiating whatever prey they could get their bodies on. Thank God these aren't still kicking around. Could you imagine if one of these snakes slithered through a town? They'd have to call the army in. Yep, these guys have serpently cemented their place as one of the world's largest animals. Which of these gigantic beasts impressed you the most? And have you seen any of the living ones in the flesh? Let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.